You cannot attract anything that you want in your life until you see yourself having it. So does it mean that all you have to do is daydream? All you have to do is visualize? No, absolutely not. No. Your mindset related to abundance, your relationship with yourself, how you perceive yourself and how you perceive money abundance and how you show up every single day in your life. These three things determine how much abundance you're going to attract and how much abundant you're going to be. In this video, first we're going to understand the difference between abundance and scarcity mindset and where it is that you're lacking. Then we're going to discuss mindset shifts that you're going to make in order to live an abundant life. Third, we'll discuss the action plan. And last but not least, I'm going to share my favorite money and abundance affirmations all the links to my social and pod is in the description so make sure you check them out so without any further ado let's get started one two three when i made this shift from scarcity mindset to abundance mindset and let me tell you it's not rocket science yes does it require practice does it require your constant attention absolutely yes you need to be conscious of how you're thinking how you're feeling how you're acting in relation to money but it's absolutely life-changing it changed my entire money game the way i perceive reality now is completely different so there can be a lot of reason why you have scarcity mindset maybe you grew up in a family where the discussion of money was like uh, it's not enough paise ped pe nahi ukte ya fir agar aapko kuch chahiye to in that moment you, you need to work very hard to get that and you have seen your parents struggle a lot for money or maybe you are surrounded with people who have scarcity mindset and your mindset is like i have to save because i don't know when when it's going to come next you can change that that's the reason a lot of people overspend you are constantly anxious about money and you compromise a lot of your needs scarcity mindset is basically that oh i don't have enough i can't have enough so there are not enough resources for me whereas abundance mindset is like there is enough for me and i deserve the things that i want i can afford the things i want nothing works out for me everything works out for me you could be having 10 rupees but still if you hold the abundance mindset i promise you going to attract money every moment is teaching me something and life is happening for me not to me why everything is so fucking expensive i can't afford anything oh i love expensive stuff i can afford it but how can i afford it i don't have amazing skill set in order to make a lot of money how can i have that skill set so that i make a lot of money in the people who don't have a lot of money they always put money on pedestal they are always like oh i want to have this thing if you will put anything on pedestal you are not going to have it so that's just how it works and the people who have a abundance mindset first of all they have a very positive mindset that all of this is there for them to experience they feel worthy of having money also if you're someone who hides stuff who is insecure about the information oh i can't share this information for free oh i can't share this information with them again scarcity mindset because you're afraid because you're insecure that i just go pata chal jayega then what i will have it doesn't work that way it's a shift the situations are going to be same at first but how you perceive them how you will respond to them will indicate what will happen next now how to actually make that mindset shift how to actually step into that abundant version of yourself it's very simple just require a bit of practice and i know you can do it mindset shift number 1 People don't realize it but you're already abundant. You're already surrounded with abundance. The air you breathe, you're having a bed, you're having a room, you're having a roof over your head, you're having a phone if you're watching this video. You don't really realize how much abundant you truly are at this very moment even if you think that oh nothing is working out. No man, you get to eat. Do you have limitless water? You have good clothes. The city you live in, the area you live in, literally abundance money everywhere, okay? So first thing, it's not limited. and you are surrounded with it you are it you're made of nature you're part of nature and nature is abundant i'm sure this is not the first time you're hearing this quote where your attention goes energy flows and wherever energy flows that's what you attract in life so if you're constantly paying attention to the things that are not working out if you're constantly focused upon the lack that i don't have that thing because all of your attention is on that i want you to be grateful for the things that you have in your life right now i am talking about the smallest shit ever even if you own a foundation okay like be thankful for that your phone that is money no matter what phone that is it is money the electricity pretty much everything in your life so you're surrounded with it and you are it start noticing it start telling yourself how abundant you truly are and you are like you're not even faking it you are that's your that's a fucking reality so better start paying attention to it because whatever you focus is upon it expands so if you want more money focus on the money focus on the money that you're already having be grateful for it 
mindset number 2 is money is never gone if you spend the money buying something you're buying an experience or you're buying an asset if you are adding value to your life you're not losing money so for example you buying vegetables right that's value eat you get to stay healthy think so stop saying bhai kitna mehanga hai sab aise khatam ho gaye paise no you're getting something in return it is giving you value this one is huge and no one talks about it whenever you're paying any bill or whenever you're paying for something okay in that moment instead of saying ki oh shit i have to do it be like i get to do it i get to pay my bills i get to afford this i get to pay for my food for people for my family i get to pay for my family like i'm that privileged i'm that amazing the conversation that you have with yourself are shaping your reality 24 by 7 so there better be something which you actually want to attract in your life right so instead of i have to do it no i get to do it i get to help these many people i get to experience that i get to afford that whenever you receive money or whenever you give out money always bless it i learned it from my mamu and it's so beautiful but whenever you give out money with a bad intention like my money is going that money is not going to flourish the samne wala insaan as well so if you want to attract more money yourself and if you want samne wala insaan to attract more money as well give out money with pure intention bless the money and how you do that oh i'm going to get 10 times more than that so let's say if i'm spending 1000 rupees on something oh i'm going to get 10000 rupees if you envy or if you're jealous of the rich people when you're not going to make a lot of money and there's a reason for that because you're literally sending signals in the universe that you hate money that you hate wealthy people so how can you be one you can't so you need to change your relationship with money start loving money not in a desperate way but in a way that oh i love you you would do so much for me literally have conversations i know it sounds very crazy trust me guys it works in order to change your relationship with money you need to have conversation with it because you had conversation about money so bad in your head like bhai paisa hi nahi hai broke hu ye hu wo hu you posting all of those memes on instagram about not having money you finding things relatable don't do that because you're sending those signals out the best advice i ever got in in order to attract abundance and more money is to be delusional as fuck so start being delusional and start changing your relationship with money now let's talk about the action plan first thing first i wanted to create a version of yourself which is extremely wealthy which is extremely successful which is making the desired amount that you want to make every single month if you want to start up a business how many clients you're entertaining every month how much money it is that you're making literally write that down and start showing up as that version now how you do that it's very simple before taking any action before making any decision you ask yourself what would like my most successful version would have done in this very moment and whatever answer you get you have to do it so let's say in your desired reality if you're a multi millionaire okay would you be reacting to 500 rupees note absolutely fucking not you wouldn't be right so why are you doing that right now the multi millionaire version of you would be worrying about how i'm going to get the money absolutely not because he or she is having that money that level of delusion when you get to this level you are aligning yourself to that you're becoming that version it's not rocket science don't make it complicated because it's not it's like very simple act like the person you want to become simple as that number 2 i would highly recommend this get away from people who have scarcity mindset don't hang out with people who have scarcity mindset let it be your friends family members anyone don't have a lot of conversations with them related to money because then you're not going to grow try making friends who are already rich because because oh my god if you hang out with the people who are rich who already are making the amount that you want to make you will learn a lot just by being in the presence like you observe how they perceive thing what is the mindset and everything so start hanging out with those kind of people so if you can make those kind of friends or if you can hang out with those kind of people do it because it's going to help you because it's going to help you it's going to make you feel possible that yeah like man i can do it as well if they can and if you can't find people like that like there are literally podcast bros like who talk business iman gadzi for example alex is there leela is there Flora is that these people have like great mindset start adapting that mindset see what they are doing how they perceive money how they think about money number third stop using the word expensive whenever you say that this is expensive that means you're telling yourself you can't afford it so instead of being like i can't afford it change your mindset to how can i afford it how can i have it or better if you can be like i can afford anything it doesn't matter if you have 10 rupees If you will have this kind of mindset trust me you will get there because again the conversations that you're constantly having with yourself is creating a reality so be conscious of them number 4 is if you already don't practice affirmations if you're not listening to money related sleep tapes 
you are missing out reprogram your subconscious as much as you can so that you don't even have to work for money money will work for you with that let's talk about some of the great affirmations that are used in order to attract money so this is the method i guess a uh, hot high priestess shared it sara um so she was like i simply decide i have dash much amount in my bank account so for example i simply decide i have 20000 rupees i am rich i am abundant i can afford anything i'm the luckiest girl alive everything's always work out for me i always get what i want money loves me so much it's my birth right to have large sums of money i'm comfortable receiving large sums of money money loves me money is obsessed with me whatever i want i always get it abundance is my birth right money is my best friend i effortlessly make dash amount every single month